And now we see we've got some more like jester like demons coming in, snatching the place up. And we're gonna be beating down some fools! Now maybe I'll be able to actually pull off some nice and half decent combos for people to look. Because that's what half the fun of DMC is. It looks pretty! Here we go. So yeah, another thing that I saw that people were complaining about when it came to Nero was his sword. Red Queen is a throttle sword and this is the trick between this one. And the throttle sword is where um, Nero gets his exceed gauge where after certain attacks or if he waits before going in he can charge up his exceed gauge and it makes certain combos go on for longer, do more damage, do damage over time with an addition of a fire effect on top of it. It can get pretty nuts. It can get pretty nuts. Okay, and let's do this. Let the fight begin! I do also like the, in these battles that you have, it gives you a really good explanation or showcase as to what you are capable of doing. As well as that, it's also like Capcom kind of doing like a Mega Man X teaching method where it's not telling you how to pull off the combos. It's showing you. It's showing you that Nero can do this and can do all these crazy things where he's tying everything together. And it's just basically hinting to the idea that you can also do this. You can get these super stylish combos. All you gotta do is find out how to make it happen. And I like that. I really like that. Because you don't want pages upon pages coming up on screen saying, You've unlocked this combo! This is how you do it! And it's like, no, I don't want that. It's why I also liked the new DMC as to how they... They showed off how Dante can pull off really badass combos in the loading screens. That was a good idea. Here we go. Mission 2, La Porte de l'Enfer. Here we go. Make this happen. Yeah! Ha! Ha! Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels good. And bash, crash, dash, smash. Is there any more? No, but I got a B rank out of it and I'm happy for it. And now we have to go through the level because levels. Oh yeah, big tip for anyone starting this game anew. Break everything and get red orbs early. You will not be disappointed. You'll be really happy but you can get all those badass moves you want. Or in this game, just make sure you're leveling up and getting your health gauge up high enough. And when you unlock it, your double trigger gauge. Which I will show off in a bit. I'm going to wait for the right fight and then I'll show off what double trigger can really do. In these ones, I'm not going to bother. That was a tutorial about sealed doors. Basically those red doors behind me. They can't unlock until you kill everyone here. See what I mean there? A rank. Do I think it's hard? Actually, pulling off combos in DMC in general. My opinion, it's only hard to pull off combos in a DMC game depending on t two factors. Number one, the game that you're playing in the series, and two, the character you're playing as. Because depending on the character you're playing as will also depend on how easy or hard it is to really get out the triple S rank combos. Like for example, Devil May Cry 3 Dante? Pretty freaking hard! Devil May Cry 2 Dante? Easy. And this is when Nero starts figuring out, wait, I can make my demon arm stronger? 
Evil Legacy, awaken a new power within. Hellbound, this is the ability I've already been using. I'm just going to smash these up to get some more red orbs. I probably don't need them anymore, but do it. Just, just in case. And plus, red orbs go towards your ranking, so I kind of don't want to miss out on them. Yeah, it's this. The Demon Reach. Which is another way of calling it. Very good when it comes to reaching enemies when you want to full on combos. Quite frankly, one of the best additions to Devil May Cry mechanics we've seen. And it kind of came back in a way in the new DMC. Where instead of it being a demon arm, it was in the form of the two different weapons that you had. The scythe or the axe. Because the axe would bring the enemies to you, while the scythe would bring you to them. And that was cool. And they kind of do the same thing here, because Nero's demon arm takes you to them. But Virgil's version brings... No, well, yeah. No, this one brings them to you, and then for bosses, it's you to them. With Virgil, it's you to them, regardless of whether it's a boss or a regular enemy. Match. C rank on two enemies. Nice. Not bad. So yeah, now we're seeing the entire towns in chaos as well. Now, this is the perfect place to show Devil Trigger. Why? Because Devil Trigger's awesome. Now, I shouldn't have it this early on, but because I've been playing through the game off stream on the normal difficulty, I've kind of already got it. Which is fine, because I'm going to show you guys... How badass it is. See what I mean? Pretty crazy. <laughs> now, fun fact about uh, Nero's Devil Arm and Devil Trigger. It's basically Nero Angelo from Devil May Cry 1. That is basically his Devil Trigger. It's freaking awesome. And if you're playing as Virgil in the Special Edition version, then Virgil's Devil Trigger is also Nero Angelo. Basically exactly the same as what Nero has, as the spirit behind him, which is brilliant. Great design, great idea, greatly executed, I like it. And we go straight to hell! Duh, 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 duh. I love the movie. It's so good. Okay, and then through the door. Don't expect this to be a S rank run, by the way. I'm not that good. Especially since I'm better with Nero than I am Dante. It's mostly because of our demon arm. But don't worry, when we hit Dante, I will be trying my best. Because I'm trying to relearn Dante off stream right now. And it's not going so well. <laughs> I hear some more dudes. But now they have blades on their feet. Does that change anything? No! Does it still die? Oh, that, that sucker. He hurt me, boy. Bash him, bash him. Yeah. That'll do. Brutal kill by shooting him point blank to the face. Okay, then we have switches. Wouldn't be Devil May Cry without the combo switches. Or later on, we are going to be approaching. 
a strange creature that is basically your way it's basically a way of saying we're going to reward you for your awesome combos but you got to pull off an awesome combo on this one enemy by mixing up all of your skills against this guy early on it's a bit hard if you don't have new moves later on when you do get new moves really simple really easy and a great way to get red orbs and even blue orb fragments Thanks for checking out the video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe for some more VGU gaming action and check out what other stuff we have happening on our channel. And while you're at it, be sure to check out our Twitch.tv channel in the description below so that you can catch us live and on the scene when we're doing another one of our gaming sessions. Until next time, we'll be seeing you on the other side.